Hey guys, Deb Horn, VP of Marketing here at WeBuyHouses.com. Uh, today we're going to talk about how to create a buyer's list form using Google Docs. You know, this is a capability that many of you have if you have a Gmail account. Uh, if you're a licensee at WeBuyHouses.com, your WeBuyHouses.com account uh, is a, a Google account that has the Google Drive and Docs and Gmail and Calendar and all that stuff. So. Uh, many of you, most of you, I'd bet, already have this capability to create a form, send it to people, and then collect that information into a spreadsheet. It's really cool. So let's uh, jump into it today. We're going to create a buyer's list form using Google Docs. Okay, first thing we're going to do is uh, sign into Google. If you're not already signed in, it'll say sign in up here. You do it. Once you're signed in, you'll see your little face or image whatever you use for your account and your name right there so I'm signed in you can tell by looking at that now to go to the drive I can either come up here and type drive.google.com and go there or when you're on this page and signed in this gets you to all your Google Apps that little thing right there get that off the screen this gets you to Google Apps uh, right here. So if I click on uh, the drive in those Google Apps, I will come into my Google Drive. Now, your Google Drive is a lot like your hard drive on your computer, except it's out there in the Google Cloud. So all the documents I've created are here in my drive. And I can create a new one by clicking right here on New. And when you do that, you can choose from, you know, the doc is the Word doc type thing, Sheets is like uh, Excel spreadsheets, slides is like PowerPoint, etc. The forms are pretty cool and they're right here. So I'm going to click on a Google form and you'll see uh, here's the uh, form. It comes in and so first we're going to give it a name. We're going to call this our buyer's list. Um, in fact, uh, I'll, I'll put a little, uh, I'll make it my webuyhouses.com buyer's list. <clears throat> Be a little more specific. And then the questions, now we're just going to say, you know, we want name. That's a text answer. I'm going to add another item. We want their email address. Again, that is a text uh, response. Add another item. I want their phone number. Now, there are obviously different kinds of uh, questions here that you can have. <clears throat> the form I'm creating today is a simple form where we're going to collect text responses into a spreadsheet. So you might want to come back and play with the different things you can do uh, with your Google Forms. You can do a lot with them. And so here I might just type uh, areas uh, where you buy houses so they can uh, tell me something about that. And then I might say max ARV of houses you purchase now guys you know put whatever you want in these questions I'm just giving you some examples this isn't intended to be the world's best buyers list <laughs> form you get the idea though name email phone where do you buy houses what's the max ARV you're typically looking at and then I've got a confirmation page that uh, I'll just say thanks uh, you've uh, oops, been added to my buyers list. And so uh, I don't want any of those things clicked. I'm just basically responding with thanks, you've been added to my buyers list. And now, so the form exists. As we set this up, what you didn't realize uh, with Google Docs, as you create a doc, it's being saved under that name that, you know, we, we've entered the name here. But if you'll notice in the upper left, that became the name of the document, and that document has been saved. It in, is in my Google Drive. And so now there's two ways I can send it. I can send it by either sending the URL, and I can send the full URL or a short one. And I can send it by uh, typing in email addresses here and writing a little message and sending it as an email. Uh, so both ways work, and you can also you know embed this in a, a web page so you can embed the form on your site you know if you click embed there's the embed uh, you know code to put that in into your web page so all different ways to do it I'm what I'm going to do today just to show you the power of it, is I'm just going to send it to myself so you can see it and uh, we buy I'll say uh, the subject is going to be join the we buy houses buyers list 
and then I'll say, uh, you know, tell me about you and your REI business. And so now I'm going to send that to myself and I'm going to create a new spreadsheet for the responses. This is really cool. See that the new spreadsheet is going to be called buyers list responses. And uh, I don't need to say that. I'm just going to create that. So now I've created my form. And with that little step that you just saw, I created my spreadsheet that receives the answers. So now let's come over here to uh, my inbox and we'll see what was sent to me. And this is what's really cool. You see how it came to me in the form of, uh, you know, an email with the uh, fields actually in the email. So now I can, as the recipient who's received this email, just type in um, my name here. And uh, I'm going to put Deb at We Buy Houses. And you can fill that thing out. Areas where I buy houses Arlington, Texas, Max Lay RV, 135000. So I'm um, filling out the form there and I submit it. Am I sure? Yes, okay. And look what I get. Thanks, you've been added to my buyers list. And so that. Uh, kind of completed the process on uh, the side of the buyer and so now I'm going to come over to my drive and what you're going to see in my drive is I've got a uh, buyer's list responses right here and if I click on it doo -doo -doo -doo, you will see my responses that on this day and time uh, this guy filled out the form there's his email address phone number where he buys houses and the max ARV. And so now that I'm collecting this information, I can import this spreadsheet. I can take it out you know, as an Excel type spreadsheet or a CSV file. I can import it in a MailChimp or Zoho or any kind of follow-up program. Or I can come in here and just drag select the uh, email addresses and come back over here, compose an email and drop them in there and, and mail to my buyers list. So that's a little bit of a hack, but you know, you get the idea. So it's as simple as that, you guys. We created a form. Whoops. I went somewhere I didn't want to go. We created a form and uh, you see uh, how easy it was. And you saw that we could send it with a URL or we could send it with an email or we can embed it in our website. Several different ways to use the form. And then once the form is completed, uh, in uh, by a user in Gmail, they get the thank you page and their responses go into our spreadsheet that we named uh, at the end of creating the form. That's the whole process. Uh, I hope uh, I hope you were able to follow it. I was kind of flying through it. But if you have any questions about it, uh, that's my email address right there, deb at webuyhouses.com. You're welcome to uh, send me an email or call me at that number right there. It's been a pleasure to share this with you today. I think sometimes some of the, the best tools that uh, are available, we already have. And in the case of Google Forms, uh, you, uh, you probably already have it, and you could do this today just with a little bit of knowledge. So uh, it was a pleasure. I wish you happy investing, and uh, go get them, guys.